Hey guys, Fat Guy's back. I know it's been a little bit. But uh, how do you like my new scene here? Gets my tray, gets my uh, tribute to my fallen friend. And, yeah, gun was just sitting there. Anyway, I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I like Ben Shapiro. I watch the Daily Wire, or listen to the Daily Wire quite often. Not quite a member, because all I do is listen, so, uh, and I'm kind of poor. So, uh, anyway, they have their sponsors on, and one of their sponsors is uh, my Patriot Supply. And my Patriot Supply was running a sale, so I figured to help support Ben... I would uh, use his uh, his sponsor link and go buy uh, one of their 72-hour kits because they were selling them for $17.76, fitting number of course. Anyway, finally got it today. And we're going to take a look at her. And today, it looks like we're gonna. I'm gonna have some uh, Granny's homestyle potato soup, some uh, blue ribbon creamy chicken and rice, and maple grove oatmeal. Well, break into this thing and see what we got. Right. And this doesn't look like it has some master lock to get past to get it open. Looks like all you gotta do is get past that seal. Aha! Uh -huh. Alright. Wow, look at these portions, man. Uh, full 8 cup servings. So, alright, so you're supposed to use portions of these, I'm assuming. That's the oatmeal. Yeah. So, don't make them all at once, apparently style soup and blue ribbon rice. Well, let's see how we're supposed to cook these and uh, get them started. Alright guys, as you can see, I actually had to break out the pots and pans for this one. So let's get this stuff trayed out and see what they taste like. Alrighty, we got them all trayed up. I have my uh, my chicken and rice, my potato soup, and my oatmeal here. Uh, I brought out the salt and pepper just uh, you know just in case because I'm pretty sure this stuff's probably going to be bland. <clears throat> the one thing that I noticed that is different than other things that I've tried before, like compared to Mountain House. As you notice, this started off in a small package. It wasn't exactly like the freeze-dried stuff that you get in Mountain House because you just pour the water into the pack. Well, those packs were small enough to where it had a giant meal in it. So you had to actually pull the stuff out and cook it. Anyway, let's get down to the eating this stuff and see what it's like. Potato soup's not bad. Again, I am glad I brought out the salt and pepper because it is kind of bland. Uh, everybody at uh, at the Daily Wire said it was supposed to taste like home cooking. At least that's what Ben says it's supposed to taste like. Uh, not exactly. I mean, you can tell that it's processed, but it's not terrible. I mean, they're, I would compare them more to the, uh, Bear Creek side dishes that you can get. Uh, they are pretty much a, the exact same thing. I mean, they're mostly like soups and sides and stuff like that, at least in this pack. They have other things that have much more elaborate meals in them, but I haven't quite got around to getting those into the budget yet. Try 
a little more salt. Ugh. Being a stormtrooper, maybe it's not even hitting the. F You get some salt in it. Of course, Vader shows up pretty well. But, uh, yeah, it does seem like comfort food. So, yeah, if it's in a bad situation where you do have to hunker in, I would suggest having some of these in your uh, cabinet. Especially, I think it's a $25 price usually. But, uh, you know, this is a big family meal or three days worth of meals. Problem is is that you have to make it all at once. Pretty good. That does make it taste more like home cooking. Alright. Chicken and rice has some decent flavor to it. Still can use some salt and pepper. Not bad. Actually, salt isn't actually a must in this one. Huh. Not bad at all. Add some pepper just to be a jerk to the cooks over there, I guess. spoon in the oatmeal here so we'll go with that. Look how thick that is. Oh that is the most satisfying oatmeal I've eaten I think. That is good stuff. And even though they all had zipper packs, the oatmeal is the only one that leaves you a chance to get more later. Oh, <laughs> I was wondering what that was. I left the cup in it. So, yeah, this stuff is awesome. Um, dude, I picked it up for $17.76 at that price. I would definitely stock up on these if you can get them. I mean, they're not bad. 